Hi, hey, welcome back to my channel and in today's video we are going to show you how to create your very own branded countdown timer for your live streams, right? Because we want people to stay and stick around for the live stream, but in order to get people to stay and not veer off to somewhere else, somewhere else um in front of your live streams, it's great to use a countdown timer because that keeps people there and they're waiting. You know, you can keep them engaged while they're waiting for your actual live stream to start. And guys, this is so simple and easy. <laughs> I don't know why I didn't do it earlier, but um, I'm going to be using uh, Canva. I'm going to be using Canva to create it. And then I am going to be using a software called StreamYard where I actually, what I actually use to do live streaming. So I did a video on StreamYard, a tutorial. So if you are not familiar with StreamYard or if you are, but you just want to learn how to use it, um, I do have a video in the description here, or I will link it up here in the, up here in the video. So you can actually go ahead and watch that previous video to stream y'all but today we are going to get into the nitty-gritty and show you how to make your very own countdown branded countdown timer and it's really super easy so let's go ahead and um get into the video so the first thing you are going to do is find the countdown video right now i got my video for from here, uh, what I call Pixabay, and that's P-I-X-A-B-A-Y. And what you want to do, you want to go to Countdown Timer, and you want to click on Videos. And they're just going to give you a whole bunch of stuff to pick from. You pick what you want, and you can actually um, download it for free. Okay, and so this is where you're going to get the video from. And then what you're going to do, you're going to head over to Canva, which I have my Canva open now. Uh... I am going to use this image, but there's a problem. I don't want this background. So I'm going to go to edit image and I'm going to do background remover. Now I have the pro account for Canva. I don't think you can do this on the free account, but um, the workaround around that is that you will uh, use a, 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 what do you call it? A website called remove background and you can remove your background pictures in there and then upload them to Canva if you don't feel like paying for the pro. But I have the pro because I already have too many tabs open as it is. So I remove the background and let me get my timer. I've uh, I've uploaded this, but before I do that cuz I want to show you guys, I'm not just going to like put the timer on the page like that because that doesn't look appealing like on the white background, right? We don't want to do that. So I'm going to take that off. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to go into elements because I want to put it inside of a frame. Uh, let's see if we can get it in this frame. I'm not sure. Let's try this frame. I don't know why the black is showing up in the frame. Oh, okay, that's because of the colors. Okay, anyways, so then we're gonna go back here to my uploads and let's see if we can put this video inside of here. I don't know if it's gonna work on this frame. Mm. No, it's not working on this frame. So let's delete that. Let's go back to elements. And let's just do a simple regular frame just for the sake of the video because I'm pretty sure it'll fit in this one. So let's go back to uploads and get the countdown video. Oh, oh, there it is. All right, Canva, there we go. Now we got our video inside of a, inside of our design here, okay? And it does have a little, uh, circle color circle around it which let's see if we can change that nope that's for the background okay 
So we're going to use a background. I'm not going to use the purple because I don't really like the purple. It's kind of dark and it's not popping off. So we have our background and this is what we're going to do real quick. I'm just going to do something simple. Okay. I'm going to add text because I want to tell people to stay tuned. Or video let's do video will start when count down hits zero all right we can do that something like that i'm just putting something in here just to show y'all what y'all can do video will start i don't like that uh that font so we're gonna change that font because we don't need to be super fancy on here let's just do this videos that will start once no let's just do i'm sorry uh, let's just do this stay tuned so stay tuned video starting shortly let's do that because people don't you know people don't want to be hanging around the attention spans are super 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 small so you got to just let people know what's going on you know what i mean all right so video stay tuned video starts starting shortly all right and then you're going to do here I'm going to put this over here. Let's make this a little bit smaller. I put this up, up here. Let's put that in the middle. And then also what I want to do, sometimes you just want to tell people what the video is about. Even though you have it in your description, sometimes people don't. Sometimes people don't uh, read that. So where's my, uh, okay. So we're going to put here what the video is about. Let's just say how to create a custom, custom countdown timer. Oh, in, in Canva. That's kind of long. But that's okay. We can just put it over here. There you go. And this is what the video is about. All right. So uh, let's fix my image a little bit. I don't want to take too long on this. But this is just simply how you do it, guys. This is real simple. Put a picture of you. Okay. Put a picture of you. Put some words. Let them know what's going on. And that's all you need. You know, you can make it fancy or as simple as you want it to be. I'm just making this really simple. All right. I mean, it's not a line, but y'all get the idea. But this is what you can do. All right. So now that's done. And so you want to download this and save it as the MPV4 video because it's going to be a video. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and save this one. Do, 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 do. So the video is going to take probably three to five seconds to download because it is a, um, it is, I'm just looking over here because it's, it's downloaded, but it's going to take a couple of minutes to actually download as you can see on the screen. So it's downloaded and then you just want to save it. Save it to your desktop because it'll just be easier. And then what we're going to do here, we're going to jump over into the stream yard. And then what I'm going to do is not that tab. I'm going to go to video file. And I'm going to get that. I'm going to get that. There it is. And I'm going to open it up. 
into StreamYard and voila, we have our very own branded countdown timer. How cute is that, guys? And how easy, how easy, let me get back to, let me show you my face again. How easy was that, guys? And you can design however you want in Canva and all you do is upload it to StreamYard. So if you found this video helpful, let me know in the comments that you found the video helpful. Also, let me know if you are um, doing live streams or you're looking to get into live streams and if you use StreamYard or not. I do have a video before this one that will show you actually how to use StreamYard. I do a whole tutorial on that. So I'll link that in um, the video description or you can, um, I'll just link it in this video as well. But you can watch that video prior to this one. This way you know what buttons to push and things like that. And um, it's a very good tutorial. It's going to show you the whole back, back end of StreamYard. But um, let me know if you enjoyed this video. And also uh, make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe to this channel. Because I am going to be doing more tutorials on StreamYard for you guys. And also let me know what kind of StreamYard videos you guys want me to make. So with that being said, I'll see you guys in my next video.